Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I'd like to show you this card today. It uses the Falling in Love Designer Series paper. Many of these patterns would be perfect for this card. And it uses Remarkable You, which is a fairly large stamp set. I usually put all my stamp sets in one case, and this one's actually too large to fit, squeezing them in to one case. If you order the Remarkable You stamp set or stitched frames framelits from me between now and March 31st, and you're one of the first six people, I will send you the supplies in this kit, the envelope, the card base in very vanilla, a layer of Sahara sand, a layer of Blushing Bride, a piece of designer series paper, two pieces of, of the very vanilla ribbon, the lace doily, and another piece of very vanilla. My card base is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I can go ahead and adhere my Sahara Sand cardstock onto the card base. I'm stamping Thank You for Your Kindness from So Very Much, which is a stamp set that you can get free during celebration with a qualifying order. I'm using Sahara Sand ink, and this is a large stamp. I'm using Delicate Details, this lace. It is a photopolymer, so I'm bringing in my stamping pierce mat, and I don't want to go over the edge, so I've just got a scrap of paper. I've got my Blushing Bride and my Designer Series paper. I want to place this here just for positioning, and I'm going to move the Designer Series paper over just a bit. This stamp is almost long enough to go across, but not quite. I want to have my separation here where it will hide behind my other element. So I'm going to put my end right next to the designer series paper. And once again, and I'm hoping I've got the position right with the camera in my way. And while you have the stamp inked, you might want to stamp your envelope. So I think I'm going to stamp the side here. And now I can go ahead and adhere my designer series paper. In the kit, I have a 6-inch and a 9-inch piece of Very Vanilla, and I'm going to lay the 6-inch piece over here, and so I just need to put some adhesive to hold it in place here. With the 9 inch piece, I'm going to pull it through the lace and up through one of these um, Falling in Love embellishments. This also comes in the kit. And I want to snip this at an angle so I can go through a little bit easier. And then I'm going to tie this in a bow. I love this ribbon. 
this cheater bow helps the helps the bow kind of face the right direction better and it saves a bit of ribbon and I can also move this around so that if it's not exactly where I want it I can take care of that and I can go ahead and adhere this to my card front I've used my stitched shape framelits tagger to determine the tagger that I want to use, the number one oval. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the very vanilla. I have my Big Shot platform, my thin die adapter, my cut up plate. My cardstock, my framelit, and a top plate, and I'll run this through the Big Shot. I just love these framelits. They cut out the shape and also cut out the little row of stitching at the same time. Really adds a lot to the layers. I'm bringing back my scrap paper. I'm going to stamp on this very vanilla. I'm going to stamp in Sahara sand and then I'm also going to emboss. Did you know we can emboss with our regular classic ink pads? I do want to be ready to put the embossing powder on right away though. So my first thing is to rub with the embossing buddy. Then I'm going to stamp. I want to get as much of that flower on as I can. I'm going to immediately put the embossing powder on. I'm going to put the rest of it back in the tub. And then I'm going to heat with the heat tool. And I don't know if you can see, it's more subtle than especially our metallics, but it does have that raised glossy look to it. And embossing allows me then to, to color with my aqua painter. So I'm squeezing to get some ink in the top using the aqua painter to pick up some color. And so this, so then the um, ink won't smear because it's embossed. And of course you can just clean off the aqua painter. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the wild wasabi ink for the stem. Now all I need to do is add my lace doily to the back. These doilies have a white side and a vanilla side. I'm going to put um, points opposite so that I can kind of get an even background on there. Some dimensionals on the back. And place this on the front. So pretty. If you would like to make this card, come on over to BevAdams.com. Again, if you're one of the first six people to buy either the stitched shapes framelits or a remarkable you from me um, between now and march 31st i will send you this kit including the envelope talk to you soon bye mm -hmm.